Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. It's so nice to have you here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what you need to start your balloon business or your balloon event. I am based in Germany. I started this business good about one and a half to two years ago and I'm doing balloon styling and I'm also renting out some props or backdrops for people who would like to decorate for themselves. But before we do that, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. I would love to have you as a subscriber. I'm posting content about balloon styling and event planning on this platform. Go follow me on Instagram at neapartideco. Let's get started. So the first thing I acquired were balloons, obviously. So I invested in quality balloons because you don't want your work to look cheap. So when I came to the thinking of wanting to decorate for somebody else, I thought to myself, then I'm going to get the money from my pocket to buy quality balloons, which are recyclable and they look good. And probably they are not probably seen somewhere else. You don't want to decorate somebody else's a birthday party with the balloons, which they can buy from Teddy or from Kaufland or from any other local shops. So I kind of wanted from the beginning to have that step of uniqueness so somebody can ask me oh where did you buy this color or where did you get these colors from so i bought really nice and quality balloons and with it it came with a hand pump i purchased a hand pump and so i could go a little bit faster or that i don't have to blow too much with my mouth that would have been an enormous exhaustion so i bought a hand pump and the third thing that I acquired, I know it might sound over the moon, but if this is a business that you would like to invest on or you see your future doing it, I wanted to acquire a small backdrop, so I bought a ring. The ring backdrop which I bought, I'm going to let it here. I It is about 1.5 meters and it was in color of white. The point is, purchasing a backdrop is probably was the best idea because i thought to myself if i'm gonna decorate an event it could be somebody's birthday of course in my clothes my friends or my family members i wanted to kind of stand out because this is what i want to do for a living i don't want just to decorate with either cheap balloons or to do what somebody let's say if it's a mother's who who's a son or a kid has a birthday if they would acquire these balloons I always told myself how would they decorate and I didn't want to go to that direction so for me acquiring the backdrops kind of helped me helped my work stand out so not only am I decorating the balloons which I have acquired which are kind of special and unique but I'm also adding something to it to look to outstand what a normal balloon decorate, decorator or what a mom or what that person would have decorated so I acquired the ring. After I have done an event with the ring and the balloons, it kind of looked really nice. But then I thought, I'm going to invest on a cutout. A cutout, you can reuse it. So my thinking here was, not only am I starting the business, but like I've told you, you kind of want to stand out. Even though you're offering these services, and I'm not gonna lie, they were for free. You're offering these services for free, and you don't want to look cheap, so i also invested on one cutout and on this cutout i was able to adjust or i was able to make what my balloons to highlight my balloons to look even more prettier so i acquired a backdrop ring and i acquired a cutout and with these two things in mind i was able to do at least five events both of them and everyone who was looking at it they were like oh my god that looks so nice where did you get this your job looks so good and Actually, this is what I wanted for my psychological motivation for people to tell me, oh, that looks good or we don't know where to get it. So with that in mind, then you're kind of motivated to know how you look different or you're able to offer services where nobody else is offering. So if you can invest on that, that would be really, really a good idea. The next thing I acquired when I started the business was a small business phone. I bought it on eBay. It was a second hand one because I wanted to separate my personal phone and the business phone they say if you're going to think then think big so i thought before i have a customer or somebody who is not in my friend or my family circle calling me on my private phone i would rather have another phone with a number then they can be given that to them this is a strategy 
was my strategy of kind of marketing to myself because then I could put our WhatsApp business on the business phone. So if these people kind of contacted me, they would have they would have these automatic messages telling them, uh, I'm gonna get back to you in an hour or this is my opening timing. I was still really, really small and I I knew what I wanted or where I was going, even though I haven't gotten there. So yeah, acquiring your phone, you don't have to, this is a personal preference. So if you would like to acquire a phone, then go ahead and do it. I did it and I kind of, I never regretted it. And it kind of puts you out there like you're already professional. Even though you're still learning, but you kind of look a little bit professional. So yeah, acquire that phone. The next thing I did was social media. I created an Instagram account. And if you have not watched my last video on how to start your business, then go ahead. I'm going to let it link up here. Go ahead and check that one out. Everything you need to start your business. So, and to put myself out there. Today, when I look at the pictures that I did, and I know it sounds funny, but I can rate myself. You know, I can say this picture looked two years ago would have looked different. I do like it because I can see the learning process that I have become. So... If you have your balloons, you have your pump, you have your ring, you have your car touch, you have your phone, then go ahead and create an Instagram or a social media platform. That is way, that way you get yourself out there, whether good or bad, but at least you're putting out there. And you might have people rate you, good or bad, or not even saying anything. But as long as you're putting yourself out there, then go ahead and do it. The next thing I also acquired was a website. I do like working on the computer. You don't have to do it. If you don't have anybody else who's doing it for you or you don't have to do it, then you don't have to do it at least the first few months, let me say to a year. But I had a website or I created a website for myself. And that way I, I was able to blog, to put all the details that I, co I connected it with Instagram. That if somebody would want, to, would have gone to my Instagram, they automatically directed to my website and they're able to have a look what I'm all about and what I offer and things like this. Last but not the least, give the time away. Just give it. And I know it sounds a little bit, it's it's uh, it's a bit of sweet, you know, you're giving away your time to your friends or family members or whoever you offer these services for, for free. But in return, you learn something. But in return, you know how the flow goes. So I think my first, I think my first at least five or at least five or six customers were my friends line or my family members line and I got nothing was never paid for it but when I look back I imagined a design which I would have loved to design on that moment and it was my idea I came up with it and the fact that I was able to create it makes me more than more than happy so give your turn to learn that's it guys if you've enjoyed this video please please consider to subscribe to my channel go follow me on instagram at neapartideko i am posting content about balloon and balloon stylings and event rentals i am based in germany but until next time auf wiedersehen